Hey everyone, today in this video tutorial, I'm gonna have a look over a new sensor that is MME84 Pipe to Q. To know more about this sensor, let's go to controleverything.com and here search for this sensor and see what we got. We have MME84 Pipe to Q as a 3-axis digital accelerometer and these are it's some of its features which we can notice. I will be working and interfacing this sensor MME84 Pipe to Q with an Arduino Nano today. For that I will be requiring a code, so go to resource tab and here is our Arduino code sample. Click on the Arduino code sample and you can download it as a zip file from here. You can also have this code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's have a look over the hardware connections we require and let's make some connections. Now coming to the hardware part where we will be connecting some of the products which we will require for this video tutorial. So first of all, our requirement is of our Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Now this is an I2C shield for the Arduino Nano. It's really important uh, to use because it's make connections with other I2C devices rather easy. And it's available on our website controleverything.com. So gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield like this and make this connection. Now what we require is our sensor that is MME8452Q 3 axis accelerometer and for connection a connecting cable is required. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection please make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same thing has to happen for the I2C sheet. Now to power up our Arduino Nano. We require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over the power jack. So we are done with our hardware connections part. Let's proceed and see the interface of our sensor with the code. Now let's have a look over the code for the interfacing with our sensor and Arduino Nano. First of all, log into github.com and here search and find control everything community which is our repository. Now here type in MMA8452Q and here is our required sensor and this is our Arduino. Before moving ahead let's have a look over the instruction first. We have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and this Arduino link will help us to install the software step by step. So have a look over this and now get back to our Arduino code sample and here it is with .in extension file. The first thing you notice in the code is we have included y.h library and we have defined the address for the sensor that is 0x1c. In the void setup function we have initialized i2 communication as master and initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. In the writing section we have selected control register 0x2a and we have read and write standby mode here for 0x00. Coming next. We have selected the same register, control register 0x2a and the active mode is set here for 0x01. We have write command here. Coming next, we have selected the control register that is 0x0e and we have set the range for acceleration as plus minus 2g and the writing command for this is 0x00. Finally, we have void loop function which and where we have requested and read 7 bytes of data including status and x, y, z acceleration data. Finally, we have our conversion formulas which are derived from the data sheet of sensor MMA8452Q. At the very end of our code, we have our output data on the serial monitor which is the acceleration in x, y, z axis. So here is our code. Now let's see how the code works with our sensor. Now we have to check for the working of this sensor with Arduino code. For that, copy this entire Arduino code and open up the Arduino terminal. Paste the entire code and save the file with the name MMA8452Q for the reference and now verify and compile this Arduino. It's done and now upload the code. As you can see the code is being uploaded. It's done uploading and now open up the terminal where we can have our output for acceleration data in x, y and z axis. Now as I rotate the sensor you can notice the change in acceleration for x, y and z axis. Continuously doing so, there is a change for the acceleration in x, y, z axis. 
So this is how our code works with the sensor. Now let's proceed further and see what are the features and the applications for this sensor. We have just seen the working of sensor MME for 5 to q This sensor is a smart, low power, 3 axis capacitive micro machined accelerometer with 12 bits of resolution. This accelerometer is packed with embedded functions with flexible user programmable options configurable to two interrupt pins. These features make it enable for a lot of applications like e-compass applications, static orientation detection, real-time orientation detection, motion detection for portable product power saving, shock and vibration monitoring and so on. This sensor can be purchased from our website controleverything.com and the Arduino code is available on this website. You can also have this Arduino code from our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. For further queries, you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your queries and comments on our community page. For blogs, articles, you can reach us on instructables.com and for more video tutorials, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end, you have a nice day and a lot thanks for watching.